hole. And what I realized is like you'd see these cuts made on a sumo and you'd see this like taper, this taper mountain, right? Yeah. With big chops on it. And then you see like a sumo that has every wound healed. And you realize like the math that went into the pre-thought on like how long are you gonna have to run this ranch without overshooting your goal before you cut it again. And so so when you see a my point being is a real sumo where the work's been done versus one where it's just been cut to a mountain, I think is there's a big difference. A big difference. So it's uh, that natural tapering of all the way up right with no cuts showing. Yeah, because like one of the things so for instance, this is this is a temporary thing, but right now it does show is thin branches growing off of a thick trunk like that. How did the trunk get thick in like Hershey Kiss shape if there was no fat branch here to the kind of thicken that, that, one that portion below it? And so when you start thinking about things like physiologically, is you will start being able to pull trees apart, pick them apart as far as how they were made. And the second, at least in my opinion, the second you can see how it was done, just like a magic trick, is some of the magic is lost. You know, you want to find trees where you look at them and you're like, damn, how they built that? Those are like the best trees when you, you can't, can't figure you can't, it out. Can't see the, where how much time the did it take? Right. How much time did it take to get to this point? It's, it's, I can't tell. And so that, to me, when I first got into this, it took very easy magic to fool me. Trunk chop, flip it around, you know, put it in a thin pot, and I'd be like, whoa, holy crap. And now as I started learning more and more, I'm like, that doesn't impress me. Carving now doesn't impress me. Uh, there's a lot of things. As soon as I can tell that it's artificial, I'm like, eh, nah, okay. And time, but time, the, that, that time, time investment. Time investment show, like impresses me. Patience impresses me, you know, seeing these things. And, and time, age, you know, how long. Because it's not easy to get a tree to be 100 no. years old. I, I, I survive, yeah. Yeah. So if you see, they're not all, most of them won't make it to that age. Most won't. And so when you do see one that's approaching that or is 100 years old or even 50 or 60 years old, it's like, whoa. And so that's why my um, second sensei, Juan Andrade basically had a, a term um, respect for age. So you have respect for age. So he would look at a tree and where most of us would say, oh, it's reverse taper, I got a cut here. He would say, well, not necessarily, not if that tree has been growing for 40 years. Now that you've passed that, that point where the flaw should have been corrected. Yeah, like embrace it. Embrace it, right. It's like collected tree at that point. You don't like cut out all this, the dead wood off a collected tree just because it's not perfect. What, what is your suggestion well, I mean, for people? Like, um, if this was my tree, I, I'm, I'm a freak about proportion. So my, my thing is I would take the long way and it would be annoying, uh, but it looked like the way you were growing it before, you're taking the long way anyway. Yeah. So areas that aren't equally thick, like this little side branch here, growing here, that, or it needs to thicken to this guy's close to his diameter. Okay. You know, everything needs to have a cohesive, like I personally like my branches to go one thick branch, 50%. 25, 25, 25, right, quarters, and I like to basically divide that energy out, unless I'm making something different, you know, unless I'm trying to make like a, uh, I don't know, an informal upright, something like that, or I'm, I'm doing it on a trunk, but my pad work is almost always even. Okay. Yeah. Just keep on it basically at this point. Yeah, the stuff that's already thick, you know, you'll have to run the branches at the tips and blend the transition. Okay. Wait for like a second branch. Like each one of these will have to go one to two to four to eight, to eight and so on. And so you're going to run out of room on some. So you'll have to pick and choose. Maybe this goes by by eventually and you just hone in on this. Okay. You see what I'm saying? The back branches are the second initial branches will cut it off, you think? Mm -hmm. you yeah, I think get rid of it. Okay. It's uh. It's still too high. Yeah. Well, yeah, you're not going to see it. It's, it's just, um, Earlier today, there was all this. Well, that's just a brand. It did yeah. the job. Yeah, it did the job. Yeah. So I would just get rid of it. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. I love it. Thank you like, for the it. Yeah, and keep it in the shade for about two weeks, okay? So even today, like we're having it in the sun right now. Now we should have it like move back a little bit, like here. Keep it in the shade for about two just, weeks. Just watch it, basically. Yeah. Okay. And watch on the water. That's watch on the water. Yeah. Hand water. Like it probably won't need water tomorrow. Yeah. Okay.
Okay. Awesome. Thanks a lot. Great treat. Thanks for bringing me good treat. Oh, I figure I saw you last time. I went, oh, I gotta bring this one in. Yeah. No, that's that's awesome. That really turned out great. Yeah, I wasn't thinking I'm gonna repop today either. So I was like, yeah, yeah hey. maybe one day, not today. 